Hey guys, this is Kurob speaking and today I'm going to show you how to uh, properly make an engine for your engine bay. This was one of the more challenging aspects to get right, it seems. Uh, fortunately, I wasn't personally involved in this. I didn't have to do all the crying like Caswell did. Alright, so let's get into it. We do have our little platform once again and we are going to build this new model. But this time around, we are not going to just choose an engine which I know fits in there, but we're going to make one. So you choose an engine, and now when you choose the engine, the program knows how large the engine bay is. So it will, if you click new engine, give you a proper box for the engine to fit the engine into. So let's build it little inline four shall we so just standard staff not staff but stuff to put in there and you see the bounding box which corresponds to uh, the bounding box of your engine bay and we just speed through here to give you a, a quick look at it um, and oh that's already too large as you can see but then we go for something like this and short casting source no mufflers and this one definitely not make much power all right so uh now oh single barrel comps are not quite as good as i would like to okay yes oh right we have built an engine which actually fits. As you can see, the airbox stuff is going outside and it still says the bounding box is green. This is how it works. It controls if all the important engine parts are inside the box and all the parts which can be shaped, like the air intakes, they are not considered because your designers can hide them somewhere in the car. Probably uh, below your seat. All the exhaust gases. So this is all working fine and now you could like go for eh, how big can I make this engine before it's too large up oh, there okay so you see it's pretty simple it's all green or red uh, no longer do you have to just read the numbers on um, on the testing tab this for the size but it's actually shown to you so now if we do save the engine and I call it um, test because I'm very creative today and I'm going out of here quit the engine designer and we have the test one and then I press choose engine and the engine we just built pops up in the car neat isn't it and the car will probably be really shitty. So, uh, let's see. Two gear ratios. Yes, two, two gear ratios. Oh, I have lots of control of the gear ratios. Uh, now, let's go for ten gears and make this a really sporty setup. And have it perfectly fit to the engine. So, um, open diff and let's see the awesome performance. Hell yeah! It's it's only taking. Oh no, that's that's actually quite okay for, for <laughs> shit the, shit combination like this. So only taking 10 seconds to 100 kilometers now, and yeah, that's basically it. All right, hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.